you can make the argument that outside all those guys in South Beach, there hasn't been any basketball player in the public eye as much as you have been over this past year. Making this commitment to Duke, though, how does it finally feel with all that pressure, all the spotlight that was on you? Um, it feels good, um, you know, just to be here and uh, know that my hard work's kind of paid off. And, uh, you know, I still got, you know, tons of things to do in my career. So it's just kind of a starting point. Take us through your verbal commitment. How did this all go down and what were the factors that went into play? Um, you know, well, basically, you know, uh, I talked to my family about, you know, uh, what's right for me. And, uh, you know, every school presented a great uh, opportunity for me. Uh, North Carolina, Duke, Kansas, and Florida, you know, all the schools, uh, you know, took a lot of their time to, you know, come recruit me. But uh, it came down to what was right for me and where I think I would succeed. And, um, you know, I personally believe that, uh, you know, I think Duke's the right place for me. And I feel like I can uh, really fit into that offense there and uh, succeed. As far as the schedule, there wasn't a lot of chatter that an announcement from Austin Rivers was in the works. Was this something that came out of the blue? How did you get to this point when you decided, right now, this is the time for me to make that verbal commitment? Um, yeah, it kind of just came out of nowhere. Um, you know, uh, I was going to take my visits and, uh, you know, take my time to think, but I just uh, I, I knew where uh, I wanted to go. You know, I went with my gut feeling, and I, I really... Uh, truly believe uh, Duke's the right place for me. You know, I loved, uh, you know, Duke University, and uh, I just felt like I needed to let the world know that this is where I'm going to be. Uh, that way I can just concentrate on, you know, just uh, getting better. I would imagine you put the phone call in to Coach Mike Krzyzewski and let him know you were going to Duke. If that was the case, what was that conversation like? Um, yeah, you know, I called Coach Collins first, um, actually, because, uh, you know, I was talking to him a little bit before, so I called him and uh, just let him know that, uh, uh, this is where I want to be at, and this is where I want to, you know, start my uh, career, uh, if you will. And, uh, you know, we had a good talk, and, uh, you know, he was really happy. And then I talked to Coach K a little bit later, and, uh, you know, we've had some good talks. And, uh, you know, now, uh, you know, uh, they're happy and ready for me to come, so I'm excited to be a part of the program. What have they stressed to you as far as what is expected from you from now until you arrive on the campus in Durham, and once you're there and part of this freshman class for the Blue Devils? Um, you know, they see me as a leader and uh, someone who can come in and affect the program right away. Um, you know, of course, you have to earn it like you should. And, uh, you know, I'm going to come in and do my best to be a leader. Um, they see me as a guy that can score, but not only score, just be a playmaker and uh, help the program win. And uh, I'm just going to come in and uh, learn a lot from the coaches and uh, basically just try to become a leader and uh, try to get the team to win. Well, it's very interesting to go out on the AAU scene to see all you guys playing so tight knit with each other in the summer circuit. I know you're out there, you've had communication with some of those other available prospects at this point. So what's the wish list for Austin Rivers like right now as far as who are you recruiting to come play with you at Duke? <laughs> um, you know, as of right now, uh, uh, no one, you know, I'm just getting into Duke, you know. I just committed uh, recently, so, uh, you know, first I got to take a, a, a step back and just take a breath real quick. And then, uh, you know, soon, uh, you know, we'll get some players uh, to come with me there. And uh, uh, we're, we're going to be ready. Uh, I promise you, you know, my freshman year, you know, we'll be ready. Uh, we're going to be a, a hell of a team to, you know, play against. So uh, uh, everything's in the works. Well, Austin, you talk about getting ready. And that brings us to your dad, Doc, who's getting ready for the NBA season with the Boston Celtics. What were the conversations like with him? And what kind of back and forth did you have with your dad that led up to this commitment to Duke? Uh, we had a good talk. Um, you know, we talked about 30, 40 minutes before I uh, talked to Coach Collins, you know, and he basically, uh, you know, uh, supported me. You know, he's always had my back, and uh, he always uh, will. And, uh, you know, I uh, basically told my feelings for Duke University, and, uh, you, know, he, uh, you know, he backed me up, and he asked me questions, you know, you know asking me, you know, what do I feel? Uh, you know, do, am I positive? And uh, do you think I can fit in the offense? And, you know, I, I said yes to all of his questions. I really feel like this is the perfect fit for me. And I believe uh, I can help Duke and they can help me. So uh, um, that we had a good conversation. And I know you get a lot of attention because of your father and that relationship and his ties in the basketball world. But I know there's a support system that goes beyond that. Who are the other people that were really influential in your life to lead you up to this point, Austin Rivers, on his way to Duke? Uh, there's a lot of influential people in my life um, as far as my mom goes and my whole family. Um, my mom, my dad, um, my little brother, my older brother, my, sis uh, my sister, you know, my whole family has always been in my back. You always have my back. And my AAU coach, uh, Theory and Joseph, and my high school coach, uh, they've always had my back and they've always been there for me, especially my AAU coach. Um, he dedicated his life. And uh, without him, I wouldn't be here right now. I can tell you that right now. So without those guys, uh, I wouldn't be here. And uh, I can always uh, thank them.
We still got little brother to look for as well. Maybe he's going to do yeah. it years down the road as well. Austin, thank yeah, you hopefully. so much for making that trip to Orlando and joining us here on Recruiting Insider. And again, congratulations on that verbal commitment to Duke. Thank you. Thank you for having me.